I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow, yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. That Dalish elf who joined us is eager, to say the least. The Dalish possess great knowledge. We should be honored to have him with us.
Let's see what we have.
Care Oswin. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Promises. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are Seekers, the only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Is it possible to negotiate with them? They're fanatics, drunk on whatever forbidden magic they can find to make themselves true Seekers. This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. Did they torture him to death? The promises will pay for this.
As the seekers of truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Lord Samson, Commander of the Red Templars. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their chance. But after he gets what he needs out of them. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. Do you really want to keep looking? What we find might not be pleasant. I do not shy away from unpleasant things. I must know.
Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra... It... is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. Can we do anything? I don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies! He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius in Val Royale. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon, masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... ...came here. If we find the Lord Seeker, he's dead. Wait! Don't leave me like this, please! You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. Lord Seeker Lucius. Cassandra, 
with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. And you're the man who betrayed his own order. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago. As you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world. To make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry. The Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. You lured your entire order to their deaths. There was no other choice. No other choice? Have you gone mad? We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. And this was the right thing? Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. insane. He had to be. The influence of Corypheus, perhaps? Was he trying to disable the Seekers? All these wasted lives. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this Book of Secrets.
home has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the Rite of Tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the Circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. You mutilate mages. I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. So, the rebellion could have been prevented. Perhaps, but it was a long time coming, for many reasons. We created the Rite of Tranquility. I told you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? I can't foresee the future, Cassandra. But we know the past. Those who do not heed history are doomed to repeat it. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. You keep saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must seek it out. Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own.
I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. If it makes you uncomfortable, I can stop. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people? Is that what you want? No. <sighs> oh, I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I didn't expect you to feel this way. I know what you see. I am a warrior. I am blunt and difficult and self-righteous. But my heart lies beneath all that. It yearns for these things I cannot have. If you cannot see that, then desist. What enamors you is but the surface. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. Ah, the Inquisitor. 
a genuine luminary of our current circumstance. Please enjoy all I have to offer. The Inquisitor, a genuine luminary of our current circumstances. Oh. Then the Maker said, To you, my second I trust Lord, you've heard I of grant the this thing. In your heart, she will not entirely clear. For the Maker Armies shall be her beacon attacked. and her shield, her foundation and her sword. Good day. No uncertainty for her, and she will know Make no fear time. of death. For the Maker shall be her beacon and her shield. By the Maker, it's the Inquisitor himself. Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, Your Worship? The roses have been exceptional this season. You sell flowers, I take it? Oh, I don't sell them so much as I grow them. All for the halls of the Winter Palace. Empress Céline does so love the pink daisies. They're quite difficult to cultivate. But I don't think they'd begrudge a few flowers for the Herald of Andraste. It can be our little secret. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, no, simple wild flowers for you then. I have just the thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. Lovely day, isn't it? So bright and sunny. Remnants lie toppled in these hills. Good day. Thank you again, my friend. Grandma, I'm not going to leave for Denerim without you. Nonsense. With money enough for you to have a seat on a merchant wagon, you can go at once. Officer they call the Inquisitor. That right? Wish I could sell you some books. Wish I could sell anyone some books. 
Sod it all. You're a bookseller? Normally, yes. No need to look at me so funny. Thought I'd come here and try my luck selling books and scholarly crap to all the mages crowded hereabouts. Naturally, they've all up and vanished like a fart in a cavern. I'd go home if I just had any of my stock. What a mess. So, what happened, exactly? Surfacers happened. It took all my coin for bribes just to find out the damn Templars ambushed my wagon before it got here. Thought I was bringing supplies to the robes. So it's out there, but who knows where. Any books of poetry in your wagon? Sure. Mages love that stuff. Fat lot of good it does me now. Inquisitor. I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? Is it so unbelievable that I want to? I suppose not. You just have so much else to occupy your energies. You let me worry about my energies. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. 
You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. <laughs> I happen to like a challenge. <sighs> you enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. So, that book you were reading... Uh, yes, what of it? So under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? Don't get me wrong. I like this side of you. I don't swoon. <laughs> I meant the passion. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not so bad, then. What do you need, my friend? Do you have any advice for me? We must root out the Red Templars. They form the bulk of Corypheus's forces. I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. We don't need to be serious every single minute, do we? And that is the poem you chose? You have a better one in mind? Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? They will say one of two things about me. That I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover. That it was meant to be. Or they will say I was led astray by the wiles of a Kunari madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are part of the Maker's plan. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything, and it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage, with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. 
I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I love you. Here, tonight. I believe you. It's always wonderful to speak with you. I was hoping we could spend some time together. You need not even ask. 